the Speaker of Parliament, Anit Anita Amongs assertion of another term of office has sent shockwaves uh, to possible challenges to back off as many figures continue to be viewed as better alternatives. Now, political analysts who weigh in on the matter say the Speaker could be sensing an ease from the inside, hence her appeal. But what do political odds hold for Anit Anita Amongs? country and saying Anita must resign. Resign and go where? I am still around. I still have one term to serve. When I finish serving my five years in the next term, then I will give it to my young brother Thomas to take over. The statements have left many speculating, wondering how a speaker who said she was serving a term for the late speaker Jacob Olanya until she gets her own term has chosen to backtrack. She says that the political fortunes are not as uh, glamorous as they were then and at the same time she would want to be supported to go for at least that term which she considers her term. Professor Gerald Kariesha and Joseph Ocheno a political analyst. This view amongst statements as being assertive and appealing to the deputy to wait but equally not find the powers that be in the NRM. So I think that the pressure that is coming out from both internal and the external uh, circumstances, the, the sanctions, the, the protests. She's saying, wait a minute, all the same, I deserve to, to serve. I may not serve as long as uh, I'm warranted to, but at least I deserve one more term. I was sending a message to Taibuka, but also to the citizens and the NRM political leadership that please don't think I am yet to go. I am still here and I still want this position. And so take note that the battle ahead is going to be tough. It would also have been very smart of Anita to have uh, made the, the statement, the declaration, uh, at a function you know, organized by the speaker and in the speaker's constituency and emphasizing the fact that the speaker is young, meaning that he can necessarily wait. This assert that while emerging dynamics might not favor the sitting speaker, she's quick to appeal for ring fencing her position, a decision that could be hard. This side are the key issues that could impact Anita Monk bid for speakership in 2026. Parliament has become the face of corruption, although corruption is rampant in all arms of government. Parliament uh, currently is the face of corruption. It's a negotiation with those that are adversaries. It's a negotiation with the party. It's a negotiation with the public. And of course, ultimately, with those who will be in parliament. As the political terrain continues to shift, Thomas Taiwa has exhibited a political muscle in the caliber of people invited for his Thanksgiving and the masses which present him as key and critical challenger to Anita Monk bid for second term. Now, Shamim Nabakoza reports for us in Parliament and she joins us this evening. Now, Shamim, uh, there seems to be a lot of debate around the statement of uh, the Speaker in regards uh, to the succession plan. Why do you think this is the case? The political season warrants the debate on succession in Parliament, but also the changing dynamics in what seems to be the different odds that are likely to play out in the next speakership press with several individuals finding key areas of where they can leverage on to be able to compete in the same race. Now, uh, Professor Sabit Makarai is a political scholar and uh, he goes on to read into the statement of uh, the speaker Anit Anita Mong saying that it breeds more concerns from a population disturbed by the action termed as uh, corrupt tendencies in the house. He argues that, that such could be a critical uh, one to shape uh, the next time. Let's listen in. The question that is coming into the minds of several people Several people, several members of the population are saying, are we going to continue having no service delivery if some of these leaders are so corrupt and have reached a level of impunity that they can proclaim that they are going to lead us forever? It's a question that is really bothering members of the general population, that some people are bent on leading them Despite lack of service delivery, despite the fact that so much money that would have gone into service delivery is being squandered in, by some institutions. So it is really a very serious matter. 
when you look at the report which was produced by IGG recently, it says that 10 trillion shillings out of our budget of, I think last year it was about 50 billion, uh, trillion. So a fifth of the, uh, the report of IGG is in the case that a fifth of the budget of Uganda is squandered through corruption.